What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media and Next Level Workshops and I am coming at you with another Evoto update. Uh, in this latest version, this is version 3.8, they released uh, quite a few new features, but I wanna talk about really two of them. I'll talk about a few more, but I wanna talk about the ones that I think are the biggest game changers that are gonna save me the most time. And the first one is gonna be found in the background tab. So let's take a look at this image here of Sam and you can see that the image doesn't, the background doesn't extend all the way to the back, like over, all the way to the edge, right? Now, obviously there's ways to do this in other programs, but Evoto, as they always do, they listen to their customers and they added this feature in, which is gonna basically get rid of all those distractions. So let's go ahead and just toggle this distraction removal on, let it think, and you'll notice nothing happened. And that's okay, because all we have to do is make sure that this distractions where it says auto detect distractions, just make sure you click distractions if nothing happens and that's gonna go ahead and get rid of all those distractions. And it does a really good job. There's no, there's no loss of quality or anything like that from you know on the edges here. And what we're gonna do is, these are not new features, but we're gonna go ahead and, and just clean up this background anymore with the background uh, cleanup and also the color band removal, which will help I find get rid of some of the wrinkles and backdrops if the background cleanup doesn't do that. I wanna show one more example here. So this is one where I shot this a couple weeks ago down in Florida. So if we click distraction removal, obviously I wanna get rid of this little stand down here, right? So if I click distraction removal, what it did is it actually got rid of one of these lens flares. So it saw the lens flare, kind of thought that. That is where this mask feature comes in very, very handy. And make sure I have the minus one selected. So I'm just gonna mask out basically everything except the thing that I don't, that I actually wanted to mask out. So I'm just kinda gonna do this whole top corner. And we say, okay. And that brought that back, so now we have just a little, I could probably get a little more, you know, diligent with it, but realistically, I don't mind that the, it's a clean corner there. Um, so that is the distraction removal, huge feature, absolutely love it. It's gonna come in really handy on a ton of images, I know that. Another thing you can use this for is if you're ever doing the triangle lighting for headshots and you've got some lights in the corner, this will get rid of those really, really easily. So let's jump into the next feature. Let's come over to this image here. And this is gonna be found in the portraits retouching tab. And this is going to be the, let's jump down here to the skin retouching. And in the past we had just a slider that was called dodge and burn. And that was basically frequency separation, low layer, high layer, all kind of rolled into one, which worked really great, but it wasn't actually dodge and burn. So that was kind of one thing that if you slid it up, yeah, it smoothed the skin out, but it wasn't truly enhancing the highlights and the shadows like dodging and burning does, what I would do is I would go down to makeup and kind of do that, but now you don't have to. So textured smoothing down here actually is what was called dodge and burn. So if I slide this all the way up, that's gonna basically make the texture really, really nice. I don't want it all the way up. I'm gonna turn it off for now. But we've got two uh, different dodge and burn functions within this. So we've got even with dodge and burn, which is basically gonna be the light layer. So basically highlights, shadows, and it's gonna kind of smooth everything out. If we go all the way up, you can see where now that, that skin is really, really smooth. And that's really just kind of taking where it's a, if it's a dark shadow or a really, really highlight, it's gonna kind of reduce the contrast a little bit. Not exactly, but that's kind of how I look at it. So let's turn that off and let's go ahead and see what Sculpt with Dodge and Burn does. So with Sculpt with Dodge and Burn, what this is gonna do is basically it's going to be what true dodging and burning is, which is taking the highlights and, and enhancing them a little bit and the shadows and, and darkening them a little bit. And kind of almost where she's got makeup, it's really almost kind of enhancing that a little bit. So let's slide that guy all the way up and you can see right there that basically the contour of her face kind of was enhanced a little bit. So we'll kind of just toggle that. Now, this does have two sliders within that slider. So we've got facial features and we also have facial contours. So the difference between these two is facial features is basically anything within your facial outline. So any shadows that are kind of on your face. And then the facial contours are gonna be really noticeably your jawline. So let's go ahead and turn facial features off 
and actually turn them both off. So we'll just slide one up at a time. So let's do facial contours and you'll really notice it kind of in this area here and some up, uh, up, up here as well. So, so you'll just kind of see, it's kind of just adding some shadows and some contrast to the edge and the outline of her face. Now, if I turn that one off and then we have facial features, that's basically where you're going to start getting those, those highlights kind of within the, the facial outline there. So you'll really notice it kind of on her nose, on her chin, a little bit of highlight here, a little bit of shadow here. But with those two, they are default set at 80. So let's just kind of leave those there. And then you can just kind of take the whole slider and kind of just do it to taste and how you, how you think you want it. So that's the new dodge and burn feature. I absolutely love the fact that there's more control now because I've always been a fan of, of being able to dodge and burn and almost paint it in. With this, we don't really have to paint it in. You obviously can, with anything, turn this mask on and mask out areas you don't want. But I think it does a really good job and it's again, like Evoto does with everything, it saves a ton of time. So let's jump into the third and kind of one of the other features that they add that I'll be honest, I don't use a ton, but that is going to be the, oh yeah, we can do distraction removals on this one. Let's jump back to that. So boom, distraction removal. Got rid of the soft box up there. I can do clean backdrop and color banding removal. Boom, wonderful, looks great. So now we have a nice clean image. I don't have to go back into Photoshop or any other program and get rid of that. I can do it all in Evoto now. So let's jump into the third and not final feature because they always add a lot of kind of minor features within these updates as well. But the third kind of major feature that they added, which is still gonna be in the portrait tab, but it's gonna be all the way down here. And they've had AI reshape for quite a few versions now, but they've enhanced this one significantly and, and allowed you to kind of make it a little bit more natural. So in the past, it was basically just kind of liquefied, just kind of and, and, and sucks everything in. With this one, if we, if we bring, and you can also enhance it in the other direction too. So, but if we wanna go, let's say we wanna just kind of thin her out a little bit, there is this smooth physique, which by default is set to 100. And that's just gonna be, you'll start to get maybe some straight lines that doesn't look natural. If you wanna bring some of the natural curvature of the body back, you can go ahead and slide this smooth physique slider down and that's gonna help make it a lot more natural. Again, I'm not, I don't use the AI reshape a ton. I like to kind of keep things very natural, but this is a nice feature. It does give you a lot more functionality, a lot more control than they have in the past versions. And then let's talk about one more feature that's been added that kind of snuck in here that's actually kind of cool, which is going to be the file naming. So you can actually use naming for clipboard content and you might ask, why would you want to do that? If you use headshot tools or any uh, you know program like that that requires clipboard content and naming, you can do this. I've not personally tried this. I just know it's a feature that's in there. So if you want to give it a shot, Leave me a comment down below, let me know how it goes. But again, those are the new features that are in Evoto 3.8. The big one being the distractions removal. And then we've got the dodge and burn, kind of the, the upgraded version of that. And then finally, we've got the AI reshape that just kind of make things a little bit smoother, a little bit more natural. So if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below and make sure you head over to nextlevelworkshops.com for a free lighting guide. We've also got a free forum on there that you can check out and if you want to see any more of my work, head over to Instagram at ReadyLightMedia, and I'll see you next time.